Hey, I'm Rob for JTRPodcast.com and I'm going to show you how to play Rumble in the Dungeon. This is a game for three to six players, plays in about 20 minutes, and designed by Ken Rush and published by Flatline Games. You are represented by two secret characters, have them last as long as possible, or leave the dungeon with the Dead King's treasure to earn points and win the game. To set up, create a dungeon by placing the tiles next to each other, put the exit and treasure rooms at opposite ends of the dungeon. Put the treasure chest in the treasure room and put a standee randomly in each room. Give each player a score marker to denote their player colour, put a matching one near the scoreboard. Give each player two secret character tokens, players look at them so they know which two characters in the dungeon they have this round. Choose a random start player and starting with that start player and going clockwise, players are going to take one of two actions. The first is to move any character that is in a room on their own into an adjacent room. If the treasure chest is in the room the character is moving out of, any character can move into an adjacent room taking the treasure chest with them. The room doesn't have to be empty. Moving with the treasure chest is the only way you can break this rule, otherwise a character can only move if they're on a room on their own. Only a character with a treasure chest can leave the dungeon via the exit. Instead of moving, if there's more than one character in a room, a player can kill one of them, removing one of those characters in the room from the game. Line up those removed from the game to remember which order the characters were eliminated from the dungeon. This continues until there's only one character left in the dungeon, and then you score. The last character left in the dungeon will be placed at the head of the line. But if a character leaves the dungeon with the treasure, they will always be first, pushing the last surviving character into second place. Now you have all the characters in order, points will be awarded. The first character will get 10 points, the second character will get 9 points, etc. Players will score for their best character. For example, this player's characters came 4th and 7th, so they score 4th place which is worth 7 points. Points are added to the track. Start a new round by randomly returning the characters to the dungeon, return the treasure chest to its space and shuffle and redistribute the character tokens. The player with the fewest points will be the start player in future rounds, and after 3 rounds whoever's got the most points wins. That's Rumble in the Dungeon, a deduction style game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast, or find my blog and podcast at jtrpodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Just the Rogue and keep surviving those dungeons, or at least lasting as long as possible.